Get up, Dante. What time is it? My deepest apologies for being so late to our little get-together. I'm afraid that our client's train broke down along the way. Anthony? Huh? It's me. I'm Ernest. Don't say you don't remember me. How about you tell me how it's possible you remember someone you've never met before? Just the way you speak. I'd know that cranky attitude anywhere. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. I can understand why you'd rather not remember all of that. That was a terrible event. But at last, at long last, I can clear you and your mother's names. I found irrefutable evidence that it was all caused by a demon. There's no doubt, Dante. You gotta believe me. What is this all about? You were late, and then what you brought wasn't a job. And tell me, what the heck was that guy talking about? I thought you'd be interested. Well, he's seen a bunch of stuff like that. Hmm. Twenty years ago, in a small port town called Morris Island, there was a fire that wiped out the whole town. The majority of the townspeople died in the fire leaving only a few survivors. But afterwards, some of the survivors gave testimonials saying that a demon had attacked the town before the fire broke out. They investigated, talked to eyewitnesses who swore they saw it, and none of these people's statements contradicted each other. Everything checked out. But nobody would believe their stories. I suppose not. That guy who was here was one of those survivors. As was this Anthony character. And his mother lived through it, too. What was this whole clearing their names thing about? All the people in Morris Island said that Anthony's mother was somehow responsible for setting that fire. Needless to say, they weren't very nice to Mom. So, what ended up happening to their mother? She took young Tony and they fled from the town. And so this guy seems to think I was this... Uh, Anthony. Maybe you are. Ah, <sighs> ridiculous. What would make you think that I could be this guy anyway? Got a call the other day. Someone saying, I want you to arrange a meeting for me with Anthony, the mm. devil hunter. And you're the only devil hunter that I know around here. Dante, you sure the name Anthony doesn't ring any bells for you? Welcome home, Anthony, old pal. Your buddy Morrison called me up and told me you were coming. I'm glad you've come back to us at last, Anthony. You can think that, but that's not what I'm doing here. Yeah, I know that. But I'm still so glad that you've come back here. Come on, 
It's this way. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm not Anthony. <laughs> I can understand wanting to keep your name on the down low here, but you don't have anything to worry about. There aren't many left here that know what happened 20 years ago. So just relax, will you? No one around here remembers, so that I get treated as an eccentric, because I want to clarify what really happened. I don't care one way or the other. Who was it? So tell me, who's the one who told you about me? Very few people know what it is that I actually do. Oh, you mean about being a demon hunter? I just happened to hear about it in one of the circus tents. All right, take me to that circus tent. Huh? Okay, then. Of course, it's you. Is this the game you want to play? Why would you pull a gun here? Just saying a little hello. Man, you've really got some attitude. What happened? Listen, Anthony, it looks like the circus is on holiday today. Let's get out of here. I know that our teacher, our teacher will be so happy to see you. Your teacher? <laughs> Miss Margaret, I knew you'd be happy to see Anthony again. Anthony. Sorry to disappoint you, lady. This guy just keeps calling me that. <laughs> it seems like Anthony doesn't want anybody to know who he really is. Well, can you really blame him? So, Anthony, how is your mother doing? She's dead. She's been dead for a long time. Really? Sad to hear that. At that time, I wished I could have helped your mother through some suffering and sadness that she endured. She was so despondent in the end. Miss Margaret, I think you should know right now, Anthony's working as a demon hunter. I see. You really come a long way, haven't you? Good for you. Miss Margaret, you think it's okay if we tell Anthony right now, don't you? Of course. That's why we had him come here after all, Tim. We want to atone for our sins of having made your mother suffer so much. We've lived with it for too long now. What the hell are you talking about? I told you all this before, that I finally found the evidence we've been looking for. That the destruction of the town wasn't caused by a person, it was all caused by a demon. Ruins? Yes. You're not planning to summon the demon from the ruins, are you? Oh, you're good. You see through my whole plan, don't you? So, did your buddy in the circus tent happen to tell you about that, too? The uh, hidden meaning of the town ruins. How some people are able to summon the demon there. The trustworthy guy who gave you the idea that I'm Tony. He told you everything. What exactly is wrong with that? I mean, I really did get to see you, after all, Anthony. Do you know how long I've waited? Don't you see the important things clearing your and your mother's names? Brings back memories, doesn't it? Well, the celebratory toast's a little delayed, but here's to seeing you again, Anthony.
Hmm. What? Oh, Ernest, you're back already? Welcome home. Let me introduce you. This is my wife, Elise. Oh, my. Uh, he's a lot bigger than you made him out to be in your stories. Well, of course he is, honey. Every story I've ever told you is from when me and Anthony were just little kids. Time waits for no one. Oh, I guess you're right. Sorry. Oh, and I'll start preparing dinner. You don't have to do that right now. You just got back from work. Stay and have a drink with us. But darling... Why don't you just slow down, relax, have a little chat with Anthony, okay? I'm so sorry. This is the first time Ernest has ever introduced me to one of his close friends. Well, you don't have to worry too much about me, lady. I'm used to the idea of being alone. <sighs> Everyone in this town says that Ernest is eccentric. Even his students call him strange. Even after all the work he's done in this community trying to emulate Miss Margaret and become one of the town's most respected teachers. So how about you tell me what you think, Elise? Me? I wish he would just forget the horrors of his past, that's all. So tell him that. <gasps> I have. I don't know how many times. The truth is, even he was on the verge of giving up. Miss Margaret has fallen sick and all. But then one day he came home ecstatic saying that he could clear up that event that happened 20 years ago and that he would be able to meet you. In his mind, you are something special. He was always saying, Tony is the most wonderful guy. Once he gets to talking about you, he could go on all night long and still have more to tell. I know everything there is to know about you. Oh, wait. There is one thing I don't know about you. It's probably none of my business. And I really don't mean to pry, Anthony. But if you could just tell me about the promise you two made? The promise? Yes. He says there's no way I can break a promise with Anthony. So the only thing he won't tell me even now is the location of that treasure box you two buried together. <laughs> it's probably hidden somewhere right in front of your eyes. You know how kids think. <sighs> so you really aren't... you're not him, are you? Do me a favor, even if it's just while you're here in town, please just pretend to be Anthony. I'm no see. <laughs> I went to the trouble to see you at the circus in the afternoon, but your manners are sadly lacking. I thought about saying something, but by then you were gone. What could I do? <laughs> well, shall we get right down to business and pick up where we left off? Easy, easy, easy. Hold your horses. I did this for your benefit. That old woman and young boy have been snooping around the ruins. I thought, boy, this is dangerous. They should be very careful. So I nicely had the shrimp call you over. You understand? So if you got the motivation, why not just take care of the dangerous demon at the ruins yourself? That's crazy talk. I tried to make it a point to only fight poor weaklings. If this doesn't concern you at all, you could have just not come. I just wanted to see your ugly face one last time! You're so scary. In the end, you were drawn here by the smell of a devil, weren't you? Oh. Tony, you sure are an early riser, aren't you? I'll put some coffee on. Don't do it. Don't try to summon that demon. Uh, what are you saying? Tell me, what are you planning to do if you are actually able to summon the demon? If humans were capable of defeating them, that tragedy that happened 20 years ago never would have happened. 
Or have you been relying on me from the beginning? I have no intention of asking for your help, Anthony. Don't play tougher than you are. I can lower my fees if you need be. Don't worry about it. I'm ready. That thing won't even serve as a security blanket. Does Elise have any idea what you're planning to do? This has nothing to do with her. You have to understand, Tony. This problem concerns me as well, man. That's Anthony, isn't it? How do you know? You were just here yesterday. You came alone today. He's at school. I see. Tell me where those ruins are. Pardon? Ernest is planning on summoning that demon. He wants to clear you and your mother's names of the accused crime. No, <gasps> you're wrong. Anthony. Margaret, I'm not Anthony. When I was a little kid, there were times when I used to go by that name. But I'm not the Anthony you and Ernest are looking for. My name is Dante. Don't worry, I'll keep up this little charade. I promise you. As long as I'm in this town, I'll play his friend Anthony. You just tell me where I can find those ruins. So, do we have a deal, Margaret? I am. Anthony? As you were the subject's mother, I was wondering what you'd look like. You're just a kid. <clears throat> so does that mean you'll cut me some slack then? Our town is that it. He. He wanted you. Oh. <gasps> Where's the demon? It's all right now. There are no demons. I saw one, Elise. <laughs> How did I wind up in the hospital? 
You collapsed at the ruins, and so Dante brought you here. Dante? Dante? Tell me where he is, Elise! He just left. Wait! You demon! Stop it, Ernest. He's not who you think. He's not Anthony. Bastard! If you hadn't been here, none of the people in this goddamn town would have died. It's all your fault, you murderer! That demon destroyed this town looking for you, you son of a bitch! Oh, Ernest. You deceived me and Miss Margaret. I'll never forgive you. Neither will those who die. Do you hear me? Don't you ever come back here again. If you ever do, I'll kill you for sure. really are such selfish, self-centered little creatures, aren't they? They're more horrid than demons. If you hadn't been there, that town would be getting devoured by demons right about now. And there would be an ocean of blood. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Something that'll be of use to you, Dante. gambling. For one thing, the tension of those win-lose situations is similar in some ways to the feeling I get when I hunt demons. In the end, I guess I just can't be satisfied with a normal life. But a person should never do anything excessively. There's nothing more stupid than gambling oneself into debt. Even worse, if you go as far as to lose your own life. Don't miss the next mission.